Today, I would be talking about tonsillitis. I am Dr. Vivek Shashindran, consultant ENT head and neck surgeon. Well, this is something that most of you would be familiar with, the term tonsils. So what exactly are these tonsils? So tonsil is basically an aggregation of lymphoid tissue. So when I say lymphoid tissue, these are tissues which play an important role as far as the defense mechanism is concerned. So we have a lot of other lymphoid tissues other than the tonsils. So tonsils are something that you see in the throat. So once you open your mouth and if you look behind, you generally would be able to appreciate the tonsils on either sides. Now, apart from tonsils, the other common lymphoid tissue that we often refer to is the adenoids. Now, adenoid is located in a slightly different location in the sense it lies right behind the nasal cavity all the way in the posterior aspect of the nasal cavity in the region called as an esopharynx. Now today we would stick on to our topic that is tonsillitis. So when I say tonsillitis basically we refer to the inflammation of the tonsillar gland or the tonsils. Now this can be an acute event or it could be something that has been going on for years or months together. So when you say acute tonsillitis, generally the patient would come to you with complaints of severe throat pain, fever, difficulty in swallowing. Some patients may complain of foul smelling breath. So these are generally the common symptoms that you see in the acute phase. Now, the diagnosis is fairly clinical by just examining the throat, getting a detailed history, you could come to your diagnosis. And there are different types of acute tonsillitis. Now, sometimes you see a white studs within the tonsil on the tonsillar surface, or sometimes it could be a diffuse whitish membrane covering the entire tonsils. Now, the treatment for acute tonsillitis is generally antibiotic therapy. And most of the times, a sufficient or an adequate course of antibiotic would settle the episode of acute tonsillitis along with other conservative measures like anti-inflammatory medications and so on. Now the real issue comes when you start having recurrent episodes of tonsillitis or recurrent attacks of tonsillitis. That is when you consider a diagnosis of chronic tonsillitis. So you have a simple criteria based on which you could actually come to a diagnosis of chronic tonsillitis. In general, if a patient has seven or more attacks of tonsillitis in a year or five or more attacks of tonsillitis in two consecutive years or three or more attacks per year for three consecutive years, it falls into a diagnosis of chronic tonsillitis. So once you have a diagnosis of chronic tonsillitis, the treatment generally is surgical and surgery that is recommended for chronic tonsillitis is tonsillectomy. Thank you.